Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to one more uh, live listening equity episode with Neetus. I'm Anne with you, and I'll be joining you today for this live session wherein we'll be discussing the listening module. So, how are you all? I hope that you're all having a great time and your practice sessions are going on smoothly. So, uh, we had met a couple of uh, weeks back. Last week, we couldn't, uh, couldn't uh, go with the listening equity uh, live uh, with me. So, and we have discussed in the last two sessions about some type of questions in listening. I didn't take the type of questions, specific type of questions, when, but I was doing the practice test and whatever type of questions we were solving at that time, that was discussed. So, now going forward today, let me just give you... Um, let me just give an overview again about listening because I know that many of you must have joined today for the first time for the live. So, listening module, I always uh, personally be that, believe that listening module is one of the modules where you can score the maximum task band, right? You should always aim listening module to score above 7.5, 8, 8.5. Even you should aim at 9 because somewhere that really helps you with your final ILTS band. Okay, that is my belief and I think with rigorous practice you can definitely attain that. But I also believe that you should not take it very lightly. The listening module is something which is always underrated. Okay, candidates think that it's fine, it's listening, I can handle it. Okay, but then yes, if you think like that and go without practice for the ILTS listening test, I think you can score a 6.5, maybe 6, 6.5. Okay, without practice if you go taking it very lightly. But yes, if you practice this in a rigorous, man rigorous manner and the actual method of practicing, then yes, you can definitely score 7.58 above. Okay, that is about the module. Now, uh, we all had we had discussed that in the last sessions that what is the listening format, what are type of questions, the time frame. So I won't repeat that again. But we all know, you all must be aware that listening has got 10 type of questions almost 10 type of different type of questions uh, which come in four sections there are four uh, four sections and different type of questions are given in different sections and as per the audio test progresses uh, the difficulty of the questions also increase so section four is something which has got the most difficult kind of questions right but with practice you can have a good score in that also right so when you practice the listening uh, module always take care that you don't you practice various kind of questions right different different kinds of questions right like if you have mcqs short answers sentence completions table completion flowchart completion diagram labeling plan labeling map labeling every type of questions should be practiced so you need to find out different kinds of question sets wherein you have different types of questions to be answered also you should take care that you practice with different kinds of accented video audios Right? Don't take a particular accent only because the audios come in different accents. It can be UK, Canadian, Australian, different kind, American, different kinds of accent. Right? So practice in that manner where you get a hang of all these kind of accents. So that in your actual test, you'll be well prepared for that. Okay, that is what we uh, will give you a helping hand for that. But yes, definitely Neetus will be there for you to provide a helping hand. But the practice is what you have to do. So you need to do in that actual manner. Also, never when you practice, don't replay your audios. Don't pause your audios. Do it like you're giving an actual test. Okay, that's what we expect from you. That is what will give you uh, that understanding or, of how to, uh, when, you, uh, when you attempt that real test, it will be quite easy for you. Fine? Okay. So now, what we are going to do is that we are going to take a part, uh, a practice test. We are going to, it has got actually 10 questions, right, uh, divided into two parts, okay. Uh, some questions and the part one. Section, we are taking from section three kind of, section three questions, right. So we had discussed section one and section two in our previous lives. So we are taking today section three part of questions. It has got two parts, okay. So we are going to take the first part first. We'll take the first part questions, we'll play the audio first, and we'll listen to it, we'll understand it, and then we will discuss the questions related to it. Okay? And then after that, if the time permits, we are going to the second part. Okay? If not, then we are going to take it for the next session. Okay? Anyways, you are going to practice in either ways. Fine? So, let's start with our uh, video uh, audio first. 
for section 3 for the practice test the audio will be played now please listen to it very carefully you can note down the questions also write down the answers in the comments and you can just send it to me we'll look at it and then after the audio plays we'll discuss the transcript and the question answers okay so let's listen to the audio section 3 in this section you will hear a conversation between a university student and a university lecturer look at questions 22 to 25 for each of the questions, four alternatives are given. Decide which of the alternatives best fits what you hear on the tape and circle the appropriate letter. Hello. Can I come in? Oh, yes. Come in. How can I help you? I was looking for the economics office. I've been all over the arts faculty building looking for it, but I could only find the School of Accounting and Economic History. Is this the right place? Yes. This is the School of Economics. Oh, good. Um, I'm a new student, and I was wondering if someone could give me some information. Well, I might be able to help. I lecture on that program. What do you need to know? Oh, quite a few things, actually. Mm -hmm. Firstly, how many lectures a week do I have to attend? Ah, oh, well, the Economics 1 course is a double unit. So there are two lectures a week and one tutorial. Oh. The lectures are scheduled for Tuesday and Thursday. What time? Ah, oh, let me see. Um, you know, this information is all in the handout, which you should have received yesterday at the orientation meeting. Uh... Oh, was there, was there a meeting yesterday? I didn't know about that. Um, no one yes, mentioned... Yes, <laughs> there was. But uh, never mind. Now, lectures are at four in the afternoon. Oh, uh, four's a bit late. I've got a part-time job that starts at 4.30. Well, you can't be in two places at once, can you? And attendance at lectures is necessary. We expect at least 90% attendance at this university, you know. 90%? That's high. Do they enforce that rule? Yes, we do. We're pretty strict about it, actually. And what times have been set down for the tutorials? Do you have that information? That's a very well-attended course. So there's a number of tutorial times. Um, Monday, Wednesday and Friday, all at nine o'clock. Yours will be allocated at the first lecture. Can't I choose the time? Maybe, maybe not. You'll have to talk to the lecturer on the course. Dr. Roberts is his name. Oh, okay. Okay. So, that was the audio for the section 3 questions. You can see like section 3 has got questions 20 to 31. But we listen to the audio for the questions from 22 to 25. Right? So, let's go to the questions now. Fine? Now, when you look at the questions, you can see question 22 to 25, circle the appropriate letter and they have given an example also. Now, in listening or I think in any kind of ILTS module test which you are attempting, you should be, you must be aware of what kind of question you are answering, be it the reading module or be it the listening module, right? So you should be knowing that, okay, what type of question am I answering? Because when you understand the type of question, every type of question has got a method of solving it, right? Which will let you know. So it makes it easier for that question to be answered. So now when you look at this question, it says circle the appropriate letter, wherein they have shown an example. The question is a student is looking for the school of, and there are options A, B, C, D. There are four options. So that means out of that four options, you have to choose one option because they are telling circle the appropriate letter. That means you have to circle only one letter, either A, B, C or D. That means you have been given four choices and you are choosing one out of that. It's a multiple choice question. It is. Now multiple choice questions has got three, four variations of that question like single answer questions are there, multiple choice, multiple answers are there. Right? We have got picture choices. We have got short answer choices, right? So this is one of them. We have got sentence completion multiple choice also. Wherein you'll be given a sentence with a blank and you have to fill that blank from the choices given below, right? 
so this is where you are given a statement you are given a statement and you have to choose the correct form of that uh, answer the choice one choice out of that right so now when you solve a multiple choice questions generally there is there is information which is given to you in the form of choices like for here in this example if you look at the first one the student is looking for the school of option of okay you have to fill after that of what is it what is he looking for what is that school called either it's a school of fine arts or either it's a school of economic history or economics or accountancy so mostly what happens is that in multiple choice questions the options which have been given to you are all a part of that audio okay it's not like one one in one choice which is going to be a correct answer is a part of it and the rest is not it's not like that all the choices which are given to you are most probably a part of the audio okay because it, they are not going to make it so easy for you right so when you it's not the moment you listen to the audio what happens is that the moment you listen to maybe fine arts okay maybe that college has got fine arts or that school has got fine arts and that lady is telling that okay that doesn't mean that is the answer you need to look at you need to focus on the audio and you need to get the answer correctly right so for that before whatever is given in that statement look for particular keyword which is going to help you track the answer in the part of the audio right so let's solve these questions okay so you have already listened to the audio you must have got a idea about it and you must have also circled the answers whatever you feel like right it's correct we are going to the transcript now and we will read the audio script and then we'll try to understand why the answer is if it is c if example is already given why it is c why it is not a b and d why it is circled as c why c is the correct answer right so let's go to the audio script just give me a moment okay so this is the transcript which you can see on the screen of the audio which we listen to right so we are looking let's read the part right now section 3 questions 2025 m is for the male student and f is a female lecturer who is speaking who is giving all the information to that student right so now we are looking for uh the school which that student is looking for right so uh the student says uh hello can i come in uh the reply from the lecturer is oh yes come in how can i help you right so that means whatever he is going to ask she is there to reply for that i was looking for the economics office right he is telling i was looking for the economics office i have been all over the arts faculty building looking for it but i could only find the school of accounting and economic history is this the right place so like i told you before in multiple choice questions the choices which are given to you are all taken from the part of from the audio it's not like the one or two are correct and rest are taken from outside no so like when you read this part it says i was looking for the economics office so economics is there i have been all over the arts faculty fine arts is mentioned i could only find the school of accounting that is also mentioned and accounting history sorry economic history even that is mentioned is this the right place right so all the four options are given in that particular audio now let's look at the question once again see this is example 1 answer is already given the student is looking for the school of fine arts which she already told economic history which is already mentioned economics and accountancy right all these four are options all these four options are mentioned in that three two to three sentences however in the beginning he says i was i am looking for economics office he specifically says that i am looking for that right even though he went to the arts fac he went to the arts uh, um, branch he went to the economics also he went to the financial accounting also he went to, visited all these offices but he is looking for the economics office so in that manner the correct answer is c economics according to what is mentioned in the audio script clear okay so now let's go to the second question which we have to solve okay the orientation meeting 
okay that is the only thing given it's a, it's a short answer multiple choice right so they have given orientation meeting that's it now you have to find out what about the orientation meeting option a says took place recently option b says took place last term c says will take place tomorrow and d says will take place next week right so at some point of time either the orientation meeting has already taken place which two options take place recently that means recently last term even that both both that option say that it is already done with but option c and d says that it will take place tomorrow that means future and will take place next week it is again future so a and b are talking about the past and c and d are talking about the future right so that is what you have to identify so either you are looking for something wherein the meeting is already done with or there'll be a piece of the audio which will say that meeting is going to be held tomorrow day after tomorrow next week or whatever it is right so that is how you need to understand okay so either you are looking for that particular information is it done or not done okay so let's go to the uh, script okay so now when you read the script just okay so then after that the lady says yes this is a school of economics right after that oh good i am a new student and i was wondering if someone could give me some information right so now this guy is coming for the first time to the school and he is a new student so he is coming to get some informations about maybe he is a whatever course he has joined in economics right well i made uh, the female says well i might be able to help i lecture on that program so she is a lecturer uh, on is she is giving lecture on the economics program what do you need to know right male quite a few things actually firstly how many lectures a week do i have to attend right the first thing he is asking is how many lectures a week do i have to attend right so now we are not looking for that information we are looking for something about the orientation meeting when it was conducted right but this is something which is coming in between that doesn't mean that we should ignore this maybe some information will be a part of it it can be a distractor and distractor should be taken as an advantage also so ah uh, well um the economics ah uh, well the economics course is a double unit so there are two lectures a week and one tutorial the lectures are scheduled for tuesday and thursday that's what she says and he say uh, then after that he say she uh, he's asked what time let me see and then she says you know this information is all in the handout which you should have received yesterday at the orientation meeting right so we are looking for something connected to the orientation meeting we are not looking for the timing of the lectures or when a lectures is conducted right now we are not looking for it right so we are looking for something related to orientation meeting when was it conducted so she is giving the information on the lectures and in between she says you know this information is all in the handout something handout was given to them during the orientation when which you should have received yesterday at the orientation meeting okay so that is something which you have to note down they are telling that it was conducted yesterday at yesterday the orientation meeting was conducted yesterday right then he asked oh was there a meeting yesterday i don't know about that i didn't know about that no one mentioned it okay after that she says yes there was yes there was okay that means the orientation meeting was conducted yesterday right that's what that's what they say so now when you go to options the options we had were in the question were we had four options right the orientation was taken took place recently right last term now when the term yesterday is given so when you look at the word yesterday yesterday means just yesterday that means very recent thing it is not last term definitely 
and we don't have to look at take place tomorrow or next week because it's future like we told we are looking for something the or, in the in the past a b itself our answer is there wherein last term is not at all true, correct because it just happened yesterday so it is took place recently right so even though it is not given clearly as yesterday yesterday is synonymous to recently because it was recent adutha kalath okay adutha kalath nadana karyam innale nadannu okay appo adu adutha ana last term nu parayumba korchu kaalam munbu korchu maasangalukku munbu aayirikkam okay korchu divasangalukku munbu aayirikkam ennalum yesterday aanu recent right so that means our correct answer is took place recently okay i hope it is clear now let's go to the next question attendance at lectures is one thing you should always remember in listening module that the ans questions which are given to you is in the order how the audio is played okay so if you are looking for the for example here if you are looking for the answer for 23 and somewhere you get the answer for 23 but you feel like 22 you have not got the answer that means you have missed it answer for 22 will never come after the question 23 it will definitely be for before that only it's always in order right so you should take care of that whenever you are attempting the listening module questions okay so 23 question is attendance as attendance at lectures is okay the first option they have given is now attendance at lectures is it can be anything so the first option is optional after 4 pm that means after 4 pm if you attend don't attend it's fine so it is optional after 4 pm there is a time period given time given second one they are telling about closely monitored okay closely monitored means they are kind of monitored very strictly right that means it's kind of important it's important third they are telling difficult to enforce right enforce is something which you bring into when you implement or bring into action right so difficult to enforce means something which is not taken care of which is not implemented right and then d says sometimes unnecessary which is not important at all so when you look at the options you can see that last two options are something where it makes the attendance very less relevant it is not important and the a option says after a time period after 4 pm it is not relevant it is not important right however b says that attendance is important part of this course right so these are the four these, when you look at these four options this is what you understand right so either it either when you listen to the audio they will say the attendance is not important or they will say the attendance is important or they will give you a time frame after this much time it is not important right so let's go to the script uh fine so we have done till the orientation meeting right oh was there a meeting yesterday that we done yes there was she says that much we had done but never mind now lectures are at 4 in the afternoon okay four is a bit late so now we are looking for something wherein she where we are, we have a op option that attendance is not important after 4 pm okay so here the number 4 is there right i will like i always say whenever you are solving uh, questions in uh, reading or listening the num the keywords like numbers names the nouns and terms are very very uh, like very important keywords it's very easy also to track when it's a number because they cannot be paraphrased there's nothing synonymous to four they'll give you as four only right so um now lectures are at four in the afternoon four is a bit late i have got a part time job that starts at 4:30 right so he is telling he is working part time after which starts at 4:30 well you can't be in two places at once because the lectures are there at 4 and he has to go at 4:30 can you so this is where the, they are discussing the time about the time of the lectures 4 4:30 they are having a discussion and then after that she says can you and attendance so this is the word keyword attendance we are looking for something connected to attendance right whether attendance are important or not or whatever it is right or whether after time frame it is taken care of not so attendance at lectures is necessary 
it's not when you when you see when you hear the word necessary what do you mean by necessary necessary means athyavashyam namak endengilum oru karyam avashyam undu athyavashyam undengil we say it's quite necessary right so here they are telling lectures attendance at lectures is necessary after that we, she says we expect at least 90% attendance at this university you know she is telling the percentage also how much 90% is quite high that means you need to be present for your term you cannot take leaves or you cannot bunk your sessions right 90% he says that's high do they enforce that too now there's a word called enforce here which is there in your option right so what happens ah we i heard the word and i heard the word enforce in the audio now let's go for that option ad irikum correct okay ad ang select cheyadeka okay no that is not how it is now here he is asking do they enforce that rule that means do they implement that rule okay that is what he is asking here the female says yes we do we are pretty strict about it actually right that means the attendance which is the student has to have 90% attendance that rule is quite necessary and they are very strict about it that means attendance is very necessary it's very compulsory it's quite strict in that college right so when you go to that again let's go to the options and you can see here that uh we had options optional after 4 pm now that is out of question right optional after 4 pm is out of question because that is not at all mentioned over there that whether uh, attendance if lectures is optional after 4 pm or not right closely monitored like i told monitored when you say closely monitored mean that is very important that's why it is closely monitored it's necessary right now difficult to enforce the word enforce here it is there but they are telling in the option it says difficult to enforce ennu varnal adu prabalathil kondu varan korchu budhimuttu undu that means adu important alla adu enforce cheyyulla pakshe nammude audio nammu nammu ketta pa nammu transcript vaichu pa endha parayunnathu they do enforce it that means adu avar prabalathil kondirunnundu idu contradictory aan option il kadakkunnathu കോൺട്രഡിക്ട് ഓപ്ഷനിൽ പറയുന്നത് അത് ചെയ്യാ ചെയ്യൂല അതേപോലെ ഓഡിയോയിൽ പറയുന്നത് അത് അവർ എൻഫോഴ്സ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് സോ ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ജസ്റ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് ദാറ്റ് വേർഡ് ഈസ് മെൻഷൻഡ് ഇൻ യുവർ ഓപ്ഷൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ഡസൻറ്റ് മേക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ദ കറക്റ്റ് ആൻസർ റൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് സം ടൈംസ് അൺനെസറി എക്സാക്ട്ലി കോൺട്രഡിക്ടറി ആണ് അവർ പറയുന്നു അറ്റൻഡൻസ് കമ്പൽസറി ആണ് നയൻറ്റി പെർസെൻറ്റ് ആണ് അവർ എക്സ്പെക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ആൻഡ് അവരത് ഇംപ്ലിമെൻറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഈ നാല് ഓപ്ഷൻസിൽ കറക്റ്റ് ഓപ്ഷൻ വരുന്നത് ക്ലോസ്ലി മോണിറ്റേഡ് ആണ് that is the correct option that means it is important it is strict and they are going to closely monitor means they are enforcing it and they are keeping a check on it right that's why your correct option will be b closely monitored for second question i hope it is clear right okay let's go to the next question next question says tutorials take place now take place something which takes place means it can be time or it can takes place on a particular day or at a particular time or a particular place also takes place at angane ava it can be anything so let's look at the option they are telling tutorials take place option a every morning so they specifying a time period every morning these tutorials are happening twice a week again they are telling about a kind of quantity like two times a week okay then three mornings a week that means when you say three mornings a week means it is three days and they are conducted on those days at morning times right three afternoon a week again it's three days in a week but they are conducted during the noons afternoons okay so these are so this is we are looking at the time when these tutorials are taken place or conducted conducted or taken place on any of these options okay so let's go to the transcript so its options are every morning twice a week three mornings a week and three afternoons a week ee naal option le edana nammala correct option nokka okay nammala vaichathu yeah we at uh, we are pretty strict about it actually okay the next time in the next line the mail is asking what times and what times have you have been set down for the tutorials 
do you have that information now we are looking for the tutorials when time what times that means we are looking for the days or time when it is conducted right do you have that information the lecturer the lecturer says that's a very well attended course so there's a number of tutorial times so now we have also got many options we have got four options right so she is telling that it's a well attended course so we have got various options for the tutorials so there in you have to be alert that okay fine there are they are definitely going to give especially when it's a date a time or something like that in listening mod, listening audios they are going to confuse you with many thing many of the options you have to choose a correct one the other one is correct the others are distractors for you to challenge you right so you need to be very sure what you are looking for right so number of tutorial times and then uh, she says uh, monday wednesday and friday all at 9 o'clock yours will be allocated at the first lecture okay so that's what she says she says that uh, they have got monday wednesday friday that means it's a three times a week so three days three days a week now in our option there were two select two choices which told three days a week three times a week that is their first one was three mornings and second one was three afternoons right adayathu moonu dosam or aalcha moonu moonu dosam raavile moonu dosam afternoon appo namakku you already have monday wednesday and friday appo ee rendilum moonu dosangal undu three days a week right now how do you choose whether time is it's clear when she says 9 o'clock that means our options are morning and afternoon and when it comes 9 o'clock it will be in the morning it will never be in the afternoon because evening is not an option given to us right so the answer for that will be three times in a week at morning time right monday tuesday monday wednesday friday 9 o'clock in the morning so the correct option is the option uh, let me check which one it's i guess c yes yeah it is option c which says three mornings a week because three afternoons a week is out of question being it's 9 o'clock so it's three mornings a week okay fine so that gives the answer for 24th question okay so let's go to the next one the 25th one the question is about the lecturer's name now the lecturer's name is option a roberts b rosen c rogers and d roberts now that quite simple because four names are given all are somewhat sound similar roberts and robertson is quite similar rosen and rogers a bit different but all are starting with ro 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 okay so that is something which they have given so now we have to look for the correct name of the lecturer who is going to take this course for them so let's go to the option just give me a second okay. thanks okay so let's go to that part where our answer is yes now he asked can i choose can't i choose a time it's a question and he says maybe maybe not you will have to talk to the lecturer on the course so she says he's asking actually about the time whether he can choose the time or not what time he wants to attend the like tutorial and she says maybe or maybe not you will have to talk to the lecturer on the course and then she says dr roberts is his name so dr roberts is clearly mentioned that he is going to be the lecturer for that student and he is going to help him out with the timings can be changed or not so indirectly they are telling that roberts is the lecturer's name so a correct option is a which was mentioned at as roberts okay the lecturer's name is roberts okay so that is how we are solved we have solved the multiple choice questions for this section in the beginning right okay so like i told in the like i told when the session started that we have got two set of questions here but i don't think the time will permit us today to deal with the next set of questions so we'll take them in a next session right but i would like to let you know 
when it comes to multiple choice questions whenever you are answering the multiple choice questions in the listening module you have got uh, single choice single choice i mean single answers and multiple answers okay so single answers are like this wherein you have to choose one option from the given options and all the four options which are given to you are mostly taken from the audio script when the audio itself it's not that only one is taken and the rest are not rest are given from somewhere else so that is to confuse you so what you have to do is that you have to look at it you have to look at all the options you have to understand the question what are you looking for okay maybe something most of the times it's contradictory like we saw here about the attendance thing okay just because they are telling difficult to enforce but the audio says that it is enforced so that one word should not determine your answer because it's option is entirely contradictory information as per the audio right so in multiple choice questions you take the keywords definitely you go by the keyword method but you should also look at if the correct keyword is what it's mentioned in the audio fine so multiple choice questions can be this type and another type is there wherein they have got they have specifically say choose more than one choice that is what they say okay fine so this is what we have done today and the second set of questions uh, in the same audio we are going to deal with it on next session which is a note completion it will take some time so i don't think we have hardly 3 to 4 minutes and we won't be able to complete that right so we'll keep it for the next session right next live so let me just uh, wrap it up here and i hope that you are clear about this kind of questions next time when we meet up we are going to deal with next another type of questions and we will give you tips and tricks for that kind of questions till then you people have a great day practice well and hope that you'll get great marks in your ielts okay take care bye